Okay, in this problem, we're going to solve a differential equation. So the goal is we're going to try to separate it. So we want to get all of the x's on one side together with a dx and all of the y's on one side together with a dy. As a good first step, maybe we can take this and write it as follows. This is really y plus 1 squared over x squared. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's a dx up here. That kind of implies that we want all of the x's on the left hand side. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to multiply both sides by x squared. So that we have x squared ln x dx. You might say, okay, you multiplied by x squared, but what happened to the y and the dy? Well, this is really y over dy, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, so dy over y. So when we do that, we'll have y plus 1 squared over y dy. So I did that all in one step, and eventually you'll be able to do it in one step also. Um, you could show more steps. I'll, I'll do it over here. So y ln x dx dy equals y plus 1 squared over x squared. So you could show some steps like this. You could say, okay, this is y x squared ln x dx dy equals y plus 1 squared. So all I've done in this step is multiply by x squared. And then you could multiply by dy. So you get y x squared ln x dx equal y plus 1 squared dy. Then you could divide by y. It's you would have x squared ln x dx. I feel this is much more confusing uh, than doing it in, in one step. Like for me, this is this is so much harder. You know, so eventually you get to the point where you can just see it. So here's your dx. You multiply by x squared. You're left with this. And then this y gets divided, so it comes uh, over here. And the dy gets multiplied, so it's here. All right, now we integrate both sides. So this integral here on the left is going to require a formula. Uh, it's the integration by parts formula. So recall, if you have the integral of u dv, this is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So u has to be something that we can differentiate, and dv has to be something we can integrate. So uh, it kind of forces us to let u be ln. I don't really want to integrate the natural log of x. And then dv is what's left over. So dv would be x squared dx. Then your du is 1 over x dx. And then when you integrate dv, you get your v. So v is equal to x cubed over 3. So now let's do it. So it'll be uv minus the integral of v du. So uv is x cubed over 3 ln x minus the integral of v du. So we can pull out the 1 third. And then x cubed over x, it's going to give us x squared dx. Really nice stuff. This one here, we can work this out. Uh, this is equal to, we can square the top piece. So it's y squared, you square the first one, 1 times y, and you double it. So 2y, square the last one, you get 1, and it's all over y dy. Let's keep going. This is the integral of y squared over y is y plus 2y over y is 2 plus 1 over y is 1 over y. And then we have our dy. So again, y squared over y is y checks. 2y over y is 2 checks. 1 over y is 1 over y. All right, let's go ahead and finish this. This is x cubed over 3 ln x. When we integrate x squared, we get x cubed over 3. But there's a 3 here, so we get 
x cubed over 9, because 3 times 3 is 9. I almost messed up. I almost put a 2 there. It's x cubed over 9 equals. Integrating y is going to give us y squared over 2. Integrating the 2 is going to give us 2y. Integrating 1 over y is going to give us the natural log of the absolute value of y. And now let's go ahead and put our capital C. And that would be the final answer. That would be our implicit solution because we didn't uh, solve for y. So this is a nice problem because it's hopefully a good refresher on um, integration by parts, which you may not remember or you may not have seen for a long time. Also, uh, the beginning of the problem here, um, you know, all of this division stuff, again, eventually you, you just get better at it. So you, you leave this here because you have the dx upstairs. So that means you just have to put the x squared over here. Boom. Then you have to get rid of the y and the dy. So you multiply by dy and divide by y. Boom. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful.